Good afternoon fellow coders. Today I'm bringing to you not one, two, three, but five different web development projects for you to use to build out your CV or portfolio. These projects can cover the basis of either front-end or back-end development, and some even a mix of both if you really want to show off your full stack capabilities and flex your skills on both fronts or backs, this should help you get there. Okay, so top of the list, I have to get this one out of the way. I kind of didn't want to include it because it's so obvious, but it would be wrong if I didn't include it because it's just so obvious. If you are an aspiring web developer, you need a website. Now your portfolio itself could be the website where you create something creative and nicely designed to show off your current work and future work. Or you can build it totally separate and just throw it on your CV. It doesn't matter. If you're a web developer, it's good to show you know how to build a website. So how can you go about it? Now while you can use page builders and CMSs like WordPress, uh, Elementor, Wix, Webflow and stuff like that, if you really want to show off your skills, I highly suggest that you build something from the ground up. Now. I'm not discouraging any developers that use these tools. There's a ton of work out there. Um, but I just think for the purposes of the portfolio, it's best to show that you can create something from scratch and build something that's usable. Now, it doesn't have to be anything too complicated. It can just be a simple landing page with some nice UI, nicely designed, and just get it hosted somewhere. But you can really learn a lot depending on how far you go with it. Depending where you're at on your journey, you could build this with a modern front-end framework or even something like the Jamstack. Otherwise, just go with the fundamentals in HTML, CSS, and a hint of JavaScript. You'll find you'll actually learn a ton of things along the way outside of the actual front-end development, such as hosting and how to get the DNS pointed so that you can actually access your website using a domain. The great thing about building a website is that you can incrementally increase the complexity as you go with things like CDNs for serving content, caching, uh, bundling your code into smaller files, uh, unit testing and browser compatibility, uh, the list goes on and it can be an absolute rabbit hole if you let it be. With that out of the way, let's move on to the second thing that you could put on your web development portfolio. This one is purely backend and it's something I don't see many developers do or even think about, but it is something that most developers have to interact with. What I'm talking about here is a command line interface, also known as CLI. For those that don't know, a CLI is a tool used by programmers, usually from a terminal which receives text input to perform certain actions. It's the kind of stuff you see in movies where there's a guy in a basement who gets handed a top secret USB to hack into and he does it by writing a few lines on the screen which then send you into some matrix code-like trance as he unlocks all of the secret information. Now in real life it's mostly used for things debatably less exciting but just as action-packed under the hood. Now CLIs are generally used to scaffold out applications or perform a bunch of setup routines. Um, I think it's a great project for a portfolio because as I mentioned you don't see many people do it and for me personally, this seems a cool thing to build. On top of that, you don't need to know any new languages specifically to build a CLI. You can build these with common web languages like Python, C Sharp, and of course, JavaScript. An example would be building a CLI in JavaScript, which could scaffold out a basic express application with API routes and authentication. There's definitely heaps you can do in this space. So for number three on projects for your portfolio is a booking or reservation system. Now, this could be done as a completely backend project where you set up a database with an API and just use something like Postman to interact with it, or you could turn it into a full stack project and throw a front end in front of it. So for reservation systems, think something like a restaurant booking system or even a car park system, right? At a base level, it can sound fairly straightforward with you having fixed available time slots which get reserved, but it can be interesting as you get into it and you'll find yourself running into a few quirks as you do. For instance, in a car park, someone has booked a time slot for two hours, so your application is expecting that time slot to be free two hours later. But what happens if somebody returns to their car late and the slot isn't available yet? Should they be charged late fees? How would you send them notifications they are late? It's another project where you can keep it either really simple or make it fully robust into a production ready product. All right, so moving on to number four is a completely front end project. My fourth suggestion for project ideas is to build a dashboard or web app to a public API. Again, this is something you can add further complexity to, but it is also something you can have a fair bit of fun with along the way, as there is no shortage of public APIs. A quick Google search will land you on a fantastic resource in GitHub for public APIs, which I'll link in the description below. In this repo, you'll find a stack of APIs that are free to use, which will surely help fuel some ideas. It's a great project to take on and learn as a front-end developer when coupled with a modern framework like React or Vue, as you have a set of APIs to build a front end to, and can really focus on how you want to consume 
and display the data that's available. For instance, you could create a web app that shows the latest cryptocurrency information, or you can build an application that lets people find cocktail recipes and how to make them. I'd encourage you to take a look at the APIs available in the repo if you're ever feeling short of ideas. Okay, last but not least, number five for projects to showcase in your web development portfolio is building third-party plugins. Now what I'm talking about here is building APIs or scripts for automation on common third-party platforms. These kind of projects are commonly found on freelance websites like Fiverr or Upwork. And the reason is that they normally solve a problem or provide further functionality to an existing app or is currently lacking. Now, depending on your language of choice, there's a ton of platforms you could build for. If you're a PHP developer, you could try replicating a WordPress plugin and improving on it. Another example could be using Gmail APIs to find any files delivered in email and upload them to Dropbox or Amazon S3 bucket for storage. So guys, that pretty much wraps up the video for my five project recommendations to put on your portfolio. Now, if you're like me and you prefer to learn by building, I highly recommend you go down this route of building one or two of these projects and just seeing how much you can learn. Because not only can you learn the underlying stack such as like React, Vue or Node.js, you can combine it with other cloud providers like Google, AWS, uh, and Azure, if you really want to expand out and use products that a lot of companies are using these days. Um, just some honorable mentions as well I think I should mention, which are more specialized or focused. Uh, there's also frameworks like 3JS, which is pretty popular now for building 3D elements and websites. Uh, another one is Web3JS, it's pretty much like an API into blockchain powered applications, and it's something that you see get used in the uh, crypto space a lot. So, so if that's of interest to you, definitely check those out too. All right guys, Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys learned something today. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.